Now two flags fly above my land and rain is summer. This is the Maglite, the factory Maglite. One is the colors that fly high and proud. The red, the white, the blue. The other one's got a rattlesnake with a simple statement made. Don't tread on me. Is what it says. Um, I'm gonna do a little video tonight to my about grave. my flashlights. Um, more in particular, my Maglite Mini Mag is a double, double A Maglite. Uh, a couple years ago, I did the factory Maglite three bulb LED conversion. Um, what happened was I dropped the flashlight and it blew the incandescent bulb. So I bought the the factory LED conversion, which it it's all right, but as you can see by my test footage, you know it, it's really not sufficient. Uh, you lose all the reflector, you lose any adjustability in it. Um, but the thing I like about it is the batteries last a long time, so it's always been in the truck just as my backup flashlight. You know, and it's a good flashlight, and mag lights are tough, and they're they're well built, they're made in America, um, but they're just horribly unbright when it comes to some of the flashlights out today, like you know the Streamlights and you know, this is Maglite's XL50, which is, you know, a high-power LED flashlight. Real bright, good flashlight. I like it a lot. Um, but I was walking around Bass Pro Shop today, and I found this, which is a um, Night Eyes LED upgrade and tail switch for the Maglites. And what it does is it gives you a 65 lumen high beam, and it gives you five settings. You get 100%, a 50%, a 25, and then two beacon settings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and install this and we're going to test it out and see if it makes any difference or not. Alright, so this is a pretty straightforward install. Um, the first thing I'm, I did, I did already, is I took some silicone dielectric grease and I put a little bit on the contacts of the LED and I put a little bit on the O-ring of the tail switch and a little bit on the actual spring contact here. It'll just keep everything from corroding and it'll keep everything so it comes apart, plus it helps the O-rings last a lot longer. So step one, go ahead and unscrew the factory cap. Set it off to the side. Take the new one, screw it in place. Alright. We'll go ahead and take the bezel off. Set it off to the side. So here's a little bit better look at that factory LED conversion. Set that off to the side. Now we're going to take the new one, and this is polarity sensitive, so we'll put it in. All right, it doesn't work, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. There we go. Alright, so we got that going. Now we're going to get into the bezel here. Take the bezel off. We're going to pull the reflector out install the new reflector. I got a little o-ring here so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of silicone on that. Oops. Install that back on there. Actually got this o-ring here, put a little silicone on it. Now with this you have to leave it just turned on a little bit like you would to have it turned on. So, there we go. Alright, so this has five positions. We got first one is high beam. If I click it twice, medium. If I click it three times, low. And then four times gives you a slow pulse or beacon. And five times gives you faster beacon. So not only does this take your mag light and turn it into a multi-function flashlight, but it turns it into a pretty bright flashlight too. So now that we got that done, let's take it outside and see how it does. Alright, so this is the mag light with the factory mag light three bulb LED conversion. Alright, here we go. Here's the 
The new LED conversion on the mag light seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, it's nice and bright. You know, again, as comparison, here's my XL50. You know, obviously, this flash is not quite as bright, but it's a lot clearer. It's lost that blue color like it had before, um, but it's definitely a lot brighter. It's real hard to judge, you know, being out here, um, but it does a real good job. A lot brighter, whiter light. Um, and then again, now it has the high beam, medium, low, the slow beacon, and the fast beacon. Alright, so all in all, um, I'm pretty happy with the LED conversion. It's a lot brighter than I was really expecting it to be. Um, in comparison, I really think it may even be brighter than my stylus. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but there's the mag light, and there's a the stylus. Now, it, I know it doesn't look a whole lot different, uh, but that's pretty good. See, in fact, this is a you know, thirty dollar flashlight compared to this starts out as a seven dollar flashlight and with the conversion it's right at about thirty bucks. But this is only single. You only have on, well you have, you know, a momentary, but you only have one brightness setting. Now this now this becomes a multi mode high power LED flashlight. So couldn't be any happier with it. Uh, one more neat little feature about this flashlight. I, I ran into this problem last year when I was hunting. Um, I dropped my flashlight outside and it took me about five minutes to find the thing in the dark. Um, but check this out. If you drop this flashlight, it has a little pulse. You see that red flash? It has a little pulse in the tail cap. So if you drop it down in the grass, you can still find it in the dark which I think is a really neat little feature because I can take my Stylus Pro okay, and I can throw it down here in the grass and I shut the lights off, guess what guys, it's gone and you're going to have to feel around to find it with this new tail cap on this mag light it lets you know and our neat feature is this flashlight auto shuts off after 14 and a half minutes it'll turn off and it won't burn your batteries down so I appreciate the views, appreciate all the support See you guys in the next video. This is me. I'm proud to be American and strong in my belief.